My favorite reactor tools. Today's video is sponsored by the most famous English teacher, Mike Tyson. First of all you need to install the reactor plugin. It's pretty simple, even a wannabe influencer can do it. In the built-in merge node, there are only two inputs, one for the background and one for the foreground. If you want to add another thing, you have to bring one more merge node and then connect it to this one. Using the multi-merge node, you can connect multiple medias in that one node. You can use this node to add some trippy color effects in your clip. This is kind of similar to the duplicate node, but way better. I'm too lazy to explain every slider, you need to experiment with it yourself. For this you need to activate the STX tools. Bring the Loopzilla node, define the starting and the ending frame, and you get a nice loop of those frames. Once you've installed this tool, go in the macros library, and you'll get plenty of different new glitch tools. I'm using this one a lot. You need to experiment with the different modes. What I like to use pretty often is the skip mode and the random. Once you've installed this tool, you can right click in any slider and select to modify it with audio. Go to the modifiers tab, browse your song, and then play around with the settings. And last, but not least, my favorite one. With this, you get a ton of new tools to use, even for 3D, and some motion graphics. This is a must have. To activate the tools, go to the workspace, scripts, reactor plugin, and open it. Here you can search through the library of tools, and activate the ones that you want.